everyone! Welcome to English 9 with Miss Tao in the Super Memory for Schools program. Dear students, in the previous lesson we learned about media such as TV, newspapers, magazines, radio and the internet. So out of those media, which do you like the most? I guess it is the internet. Because the internet is a fast way to find information around us. Today we go to Unit 5, the media, Lesson 2, Listen, Read. Lesson 5, Media, Part 2. To learn more new information about the internet, let's find out today's vocabulary. Forum, to post, increasingly, to communicate, to deny, benefit, website, to explore, to wander, to get access to, purpose, limitation, time consuming, to cost, alert, spam, electronic junk mail. In the grammar section, I will learn about gerund after some verbs, a gerund that follows certain verbs. Let's find out today's vocabulary. The internet has increasingly developed. Increasingly, increasingly. And thanks to the internet, we can exchange learning with each other through forums, forum. We can also post information online, to post, to post. And communicate with other people, to communicate, to communicate. And we can also get access to different websites, to get access to, to get access to. Website, website. We can also explore, learn information about the society around us, to explore, to explore. And internet users can also use the internet for different purposes. For example, entertainment, education, purpose, purpose. Therefore, no one can deny the benefit of the internet. To deny, to deny. Benefit, benefit. However, the internet has some limitations. Limitation, limitation. The internet has some limitations because internet users wander from one site to another without finding any useful information that they want. To wander, to wander. This is very time consuming, time consuming, time consuming. And this is also very costly, to cost, to cost. Costly, costly. Internet users also suffer from spam. Spam. Spam equals electronic junk mail. Therefore, while using the internet, we need to be alert, alert, alert. So we have just finished learning the vocabulary of Unit 5 Lesson 2. Let's review together. We have forum, to post, increasingly, to communicate, to deny, benefit, website, to explore, to wander, to get access to, purpose, limitation, time consuming, to cost, alert, spam, electronic junk mail. For grammar, Today we will learn gerund after some verbs. A gerund that follows certain verbs. Dear student, in the previous lesson we learned about gerund. So, do you remember what the gerund is? A gerund has a verb ing form but acts as a noun. And gerunds go with some of verbs as follows. First, forget. Second, remember. These two verbs can both go with the gerund verb ing and can go with the to infinitive, the infinitive with to. Take a look at my example. I remember turning off the light when I went out. Why is it on now? Remember to turn off the light when going out. In these two sentences, I use the verb remember, but in the first sentence, I use the gerund turning verb ing. And in the second sentence, I use to infinitive, the infinitive with to, to turn, and they have different meanings. 
In the first sentence, remember plus verb ing means to recall an action that happened before the thought. In the second sentence, remember plus to infinitive means to remember to do an action that happens after the thought. I remember to turn off the light when I went out. Why is the light still on? Remember what you did. In the second sentence, remember to turn off the light when going out. Remember what to do. So we have learned forget and remember. After these two verbs, we can add verb ing or to infinitive. Verb ing means remember what you did, forget what you did. To infinitive means remember what to do. Dear student, in addition to forget and remember, we also have the verb try. Try plus verb to infinitive and they have different meanings. Take a look at two examples. I try making a cake. I try to do my best, but it's really difficult. In the first sentence, try plus verb ing, making. In the second one, try plus to infinitive, to do. They have different meanings. Try plus verb ing means to try something, and try plus to infinitive means what you try hard to do. I try making a cake, try making, and the second sentence, I try to do. I've tried my best, but it's so hard, I can't do it, try to do. So, can you remember? Try plus verb ing means to try something, and try plus to infinitive means to try hard to do. We have learned forget, remember, try. Let's move to stop. Stop plus verb ing to infinitive. Stop plus verb ing means to stop, quit doing, give up. And stop plus to infinitive means delay to do something else. For example, my father stopped smoking. He stopped to buy a newspaper. Stop to buy. So, we just learned forget, remember, try and stop, plus verb ing and to infinitive. Their meanings are different. Please remember. Today's lesson ends here. Let's review the vocabulary and grammar. In vocabulary, we have forum, forum, to post, to post, increasingly, increasingly, to communicate, to communicate, to deny, to deny, benefit, benefit, website, website, to explore, to explore, to wonder, to wonder, to get access to, to get access to, purpose, purpose, limitation, limitation, time consuming, time consuming, to cost, to cost, alert, alert, spam equals electronic junk mail. For grammar, do you remember what we have learned today? We have learned gerund after some verbs, a gerund that follows certain verbs. Those verbs are forget, remember, try, stop. After these verbs, you can add gerund, verb ing, or to infinitive. The infinitive verb has to. Today's lesson ends here. I wish you were all a good study. See you in the next English class of Mithtao in the Super Memory for Schools program. Goodbye and see you later.